Thank you for staying with us on the newsroom. I am Abisola Adebayo. President Muhammad Buhari has assented to Executive Order 11 on National Public Buildings Maintenance. The signing of the document preceded the weekly Federal Executive Council meeting held on Wednesday at the Council Chambers of the State House in Abuja. In his remarks shortly before appending his signature, President Buhari directed all ministries, departments and agencies of the government to set up maintenance departments in line with the provision of the new executive order. The wife of the immediate past governor of Anambra State, Ebele Chuku Obianu, has picked up her expression of interest and nomination forms to contest for the Senate seat of Anambra North District in the 2023 general election. According to a statement on Wednesday by the senior special advisor to the former governor of Anambra State, Ebele Chuku Obianu was accompanied to the All Progressives Grand Alliance National Secretariat in Abuja by party members, stakeholders, transition committee chairmen, and numerous supporters where she purchased and nomination form. Obianu had earlier made an intention known to her constituents and party faithfuls early in March where she said the plight of the people, especially women and children from the rural communities of her constituency, informed a decision. An Aqua Ibom magistrate court has directed that the order remanded the accused person in the criminal defamation of the governor of Aqua Ibom State, Udom Emmanuel, be extended by another 14 days. The court had ordered that the accused, one Idongesit Idiok, be remanded in the custody of the state correctional facility for a period not exceeding 14 days over allegations of defamatory Facebook posts when the matter first came up last month. Idiok was said to have been remanded at the correctional center after publishing a defamatory piece against the governor on his Facebook page. By the extension order, the accused is to remain in custody for another two weeks pending when the Department of Public Prosecution in the State Ministry of Justice is expected to file charges in the appropriate court against the accused. Chinese authorities have extended the lockdown in Shanghai to cover the entire city. According to a health official, the epidemic prevention and control of Shanghai is at the most difficult and most critical stage. To this end, the general policy of dynamic clearance must be adhered to without hesitation. Initially, the authorities had widened the broader lockdown to eastern and western districts after testing saw asymptomatic COVID-19 cases surge to more than 13,000. The federal government has called on stakeholders in the oil sector to support the move against crude oil theft. This call was made by the managing director of the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited, NMPC, Melekiari, at the 5th Quadrennial Delegate Conference in Asaba Delta State. According to him, the support of the National Association of Petroleum and Engineering Gas Workers, NUPENG, the National Association of Road Transport Owners, NARTO, and other stakeholders will be instrumental in tackling the menace in the Niger Delta. Speaking on the development in the sector, Kiari said the impact of pipeline vandalism has reduced the country's capacity to meet its oil output quota. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky has challenged the United Nations to act immediately or dissolve themselves altogether. The Ukrainian president also called on the 15-member Security Council to expel Russia. He made this known during a televised address on Tuesday where he showed harrowing footage of dead bodies, including children, who were victims of the Russian invasion. However, Russia has claimed that images presented by Ukrainian authorities were fake and that the deaths occurred after Russian soldiers pulled out of the area. Following the release of the ITTF Table Tennis World Rankings, Nigeria's Kodri Aruna gained two steps up the world ranking to occupy 12th place in the men's rating. Being the first African to reach the top 11 in the world, Aruna's good run in Doha fetched a massive ranking points to rise from the 14th spot to 12th in the latest world rankings. Also, the Nigerian overtook China's Wang Chukin and Germany's Patrick Franziska to be among the top 12 players in the world. Well, that's all on the newsroom at this time. Thank you for watching.